Hello lovelies, you're welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Bola. Thank you so much for joining. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back again. I'm the host on this channel, the immigrant nurse. On this channel, we share information about migration opportunities, nursing in the abroad, nursing opportunities, and so much more. So if that is something that might interest you, please consider hitting the right subscribe button down below. So recently, there's been a lot of news about nursing in the UK, basically. Um, from nurses being underpaid to nurses um, proposing to, you know, um, go on an industrial strike action to the, um, the current prime minister saying that he is planning to include um, introduce robotics into healthcare and people should be gearing towards, you know, um, being sagged and different kind of news, different kind of things has been coming up and people have been panicking what next to do, what am I supposed to do, blah, 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 blah. Some people already have plans to, you know, leave the UK and go to other countries. People are trying to get another license for other countries. But for those who are here in the UK, they are stuck and you know the rule is that you must have worked continuously for five years before you can be able to apply to become a permanent resident in the uk and nobody knows how soon all of this is going to happen nobody knows from which angle is going to come up although i personally believe that it is very very difficult for you to replace the position of a nurse with a robot like it doesn't make i don't know but how do you introduce empathy to the robot how do you introduce that woman touch that the patient gets to receive from nurses to the robot how do you introduce the see you guys <laughs> you don't have an idea of things that nurses go through in the uk like it's only when you're working here that you can imagine like that you can relate with me but if you don't work as a nurse in the uk or as healthcare assistants which might give you the opportunity to see what nurses do you cannot imagine what nurses go through to make sure that their patients are doing very well like when you have to deal with modeled patients and you have to care for people to make sure they are not falling off the bed or they are they are forgetful and you are trying to help them with their memory see there's so much that goes into nursing i don't want to go into details so i'm i'm wondering or imagining how you are going to make robots do all of those things like the deeper core of the job how i don't quite get it but whatever anything can happen never say never and that is why I've thought that, okay, let's talk about all the opportunities that nurses can actually venture into without necessarily losing um, the their sponsor, visa sponsorship, without necessarily losing their visa sponsorship. So let's say that you start now and in one year, you should be able to switch jobs, if that makes sense to you. I'm going to be bringing someone on the channel very soon to talk about how she was able to switch from nursing into IT. So basically in this video today, <laughs> instead of me rambling too much, basically in this video today, I'm going to be telling you things, um, professions, other professions you can switch into from nursing that would not require you to go back to the university. It will just require you to do some personal courses on your own within the comfort of your own and at your own leisure time. And you can actually build this within the space of a year to get um, a good mastery of the new specialty and also put yourself in a good state or a good position to get a job. So if that's something that interests you or that sounds like something you would love to know more about, please keep watching, don't go anywhere. You can actually switch to become a consultant. So the thing is you don't have to be the one doing the old job what you can do is you can build yourself to become like a middleman between um, a company and a business. Like you can be, build yourself to be a middleman between a business and a stakeholder by consulting for that business. And what do you need to do that basically? You just need to take some courses on Udemy or on Coursera to actually become a consultant. So you can, as a nurse, become a consultant or you can do a part-time program in MBA to become a consultant, which is something that sounds interesting to me because you get the opportunity to actually 
um, experience different things. You don't have to be stuck with the routine that you do um, daily on your job. You get to experience different businesses. You get to experience different people. You consult. From there, you are building knowledge. You are doing more research. You are learning more. So courses that you can do can include um, courses around leadership and management, courses around personal development um, projects, Courses around project man management, corporate and social responsibility. Those are the kind of things you can do to actually put yourself in the space of um, a consultant. Next up, I'll be talking about is as a nurse, you can actually switch to become a data scientist. So let's say you don't mind all the analytics and all the things that comes with it. You can actually switch to become a data scientist. And how can you become a data scientist? You can train yourself at the comfort of your home by just buying courses online use platforms like udemy future lane coursera and so many other platforms you can check the description box i'll put the details of platforms where you can actually study and learn to become a data scientist in the description box so you can switch to become a data scientist and when you switch you can actually get jobs around this um specialty that will give you visa sponsorship so yeah, it's, it's something you might want to consider. Next up, you can also switch from nursing to become a project manager. And what does a project manager do? A project manager basically manages projects, if that makes sense in layman's language. So what you do is you just basically monitor the overall progress of a project or you try to find out where the loopholes are and how to manage those um, deficiencies in a project. So project management could be in different areas it could be in finance it could be in healthcare yeah <laughs> even if you are switching from nursing to project management you can still switch to project management in healthcare because if you are not working directly with humans you still need somebody to monitor the project the project of <laughs> introducing new stuff to healthcare you still need somebody to be the chair of that project so yeah it is actually a viable thing to switch into so to become a project manager what do you need to do you just need to study courses online as well depending on what aspect of project management you want to specialize in do you want to be a project manager in finance do you want to be a project manager in healthcare depending on what um field you want to be a project manager in you can now you know search for um courses you need to take you could do courses like prince 2 agile pm togaf and so many 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 others like there is a lot of it you can just check online you will get a lot of information you can switch from nothing to becoming a business analyst and what do business analysts do so business analysts basically ensures the efficiency of a business so they incorporate both it skills and business function to ensure the efficiency of a business making sure that a business is actually moving towards the right direction so what do you need to do to become a business analyst you can actually study for it from the comfort of your home so you just need to learn some it skills like um, um microsoft excel product analysis etc to actually become a business analyst so it does not require a lot of qualification there are also some courses online that is specifically for business analysts that you can buy to actually learn and become a business analyst another um specialty you can switch to from not saying that is outside of healthcare is product design popular popularly known as ui ux design so the work of a product of a product designer is just to make a practical and functional product as artistic and attractive to a consumer as possible so it's just interfering between what you see as a consumer the design you see as a consumer and how you interact with it that is basically what a product designer does if that make any sense but <laughs> i'm not a pro and i don't i'm not i'm not specialized in this but it is something that i personally know that you can learn because i have a colleague who actually switched from nursing into product design and i think he'll be coming on the channel very soon i already spoke with her and she has agreed to come on the channel to enlighten us on how she was able to achieve this within one year so yeah <laughs> that video will give us more details and more um enlightenment but for now know that you can actually switch from nursing to become a product designer and you'll be any good money and you can do this from the comfort of your home you can learn from the comfort of your home without actually going back to school to do it so while you are working you can also be learning part-time whenever you have your off days or you are on leave or you can spare like three hours in your day to actually learn the rudiments of becoming a product designer you can also go online as well to 
search because the truth is guys in life you just have to search for knowledge there is there, there there are a lot of information everywhere you just have to search for it these are the five major um specialty that i know and i've seen people do that you can actually switch to from not saying and it will give you the um opportunity to actually get sponsorship visa sponsorship in the uk just in case anything comes up and even this job can give you the opportunity to pick um jobs from outside your immediate environment when i what i mean is that you could be in uk and actually get jobs in these um, areas from countries like US, Germany, France, and Switzerland, and different other places. At least I know personally my friend's brother, who is in Nigeria, is a data scientist and is getting jobs from US and they are paying him in dollars. How does that sound? And he never had background in data science, he just learned it personally on his own so this is something you can actually do as an individual in case you're in nurse and you're planning to switch and um, find something else um, flexible versatile and more rewarding to actually switch into these are the things these are the um, areas that you can switch into okay thank you so much for watching guys i hope you have enjoyed this video i hope it um give you a clue or an idea as to what to do next or how you want to move on or <laughs> and um different options you can actually explore i hope it has really been helpful if it has please remember to click the like button up here it's free you don't have to pay for it just click the like button so that youtube can push this content to as many people uh, would have need of it okay if you are yet to subscribe at this point please remember to click the subscribe button down below thank you so much that means a lot to me let me know your thoughts in the comment section thank you so much guys i'll catch you in my next video till then stay safe and stay blessed bye